Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to be um, doing a little bit of math and building some rectangular shapes um, with our colored tiles. So in your book you have a page that has some purple and orange tiles. If you don't have those cut out, um, please stop the video and cut them out before you um, start our activity. Okay, now I'd like you to take, um, we're going to take one of our purple tiles to start with, and I'd like you to place it on your table in front of you. How many tiles do we have here? We have one. Is one an odd number or is it an even number? One is odd. And why is one odd? One is odd because we cannot make a pair. We cannot put it with another one to make a partner. Okay. So now let's take one of our orange tiles and we're going to put it underneath that first purple one. And now we have how many tiles? Two. Is two odd or even? Two is an even number because we can make a pair and we have none left over. All right. Now let's put another purple tile. Okay. And now we have three. Is three odd or even? It's an odd number because we cannot make a pair. We have one left over. Let's add another orange one. Now we have four. Is that odd or even? That is even. I can make pairs. Very good. All right, another purple one. Now we have five. Is five odd or even? It is odd. Now let's add another orange. And now we have six. Is six odd or even? It is even. We can make pairs. All right, let's add another purple one. And now we have seven. Is seven odd or even? It's an odd number. Good. All right, let's add another one. And now we have eight. Is eight odd or even? It is even. Very good. All right, we're going to add another purple one. And now we have nine. Nine is odd or even? It is odd. Good. Let's add another orange. And now we have 10. Odd or even? It is even. Good. All right. Now let's add another purple one. And now we have 11. Is 11 odd or even? It is odd. Add another orange one and we have 12. Odd or even? That's right, it is even. Okay, let's add another purple. And now we have 13. Is that odd or even? Very good, odd. Now let's add another orange one. And now we have 14. 14 is even, good. All right, let's add another purple one. And now we have 15. Is that odd or even? That is odd, okay. Let's add another orange one, and now we have 16. Is 16 odd or even? It is even. Okay, let's add another purple, and we have 17. Is that odd or even? Odd, very good. Add another orange one, and now we have 18. Odd or even? It's even. Okay, and we're gonna add our last purple one, and now we have 19. Odd or even? Odd. And let's add that last orange one. And now we have 20. Is 20 odd or even? It is even. Very good. You will see that we have rows. I have a row of purple and a row of orange. Rows go across. In each of these rows, we have 10 tiles. So we can say 10 plus 10 equals 20. We also have columns. Columns go down. Let's count the columns that we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten columns. And in each of those columns, we have two. So I could say two plus 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 two also equals twenty. Okay. All right. I'd like you to put the tiles to the side and if you could get your, um, your math book out now 
and we are going to turn to page 369 in our math book. And we're going to take a look at some work with rows and columns. Okay, so we're going to take a look at number one. Number one is asking us to circle the rows. Remember, rows go across. So we are going to circle our rows. So I have a row that goes this way, and I have another row. Okay, so we have two rows. Now let's take a look at number two. Number two is asking us to circle the columns. And remember, columns go up and down. So we're going to circle the columns. When we're thinking about rows and columns, we are making something called an array. And an array can be made of um, the tiles like we just did, or they can also be made of um, objects, so not just squares. So you can imagine little pictures in the squares of the array. All right, so we see here that we have um, if we look here at number one, I have two rows, and in each row I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five in each row. Okay, so I can say that five plus five equals ten. If I can count, I have ten squares. If we think of it as columns, I can see that I have one, two, three, four, I have five columns, and in each column there are two. So I would say two plus two plus two plus two also equals 10. Okay, when you make an array, you have to have your, col your rows have to have the same number and your columns have to have the same number. All right, let's take a look at number. Let's take a look at picture number three. So now we've got some pairs. Okay, we're going to write how many in each row and each column. Then we're going to write two equations to um, for each array. All right. So let's take a look at our pictures here. Let's count. We're going to count in the rows first. So how many pairs do we have in the first row? One, two. So I'm going to put a two here. Now I'm going to count the number of pairs in the second row. One, two. And in the third, one, two. Okay. Now let's count the number in each column. So I'm going to go down. And I have one, two, three. One, two, Three. Now I'm going to take these numbers and I'm going to write an addition equation. So I'm going to take my twos first of all. And so I'm going to say that two plus two plus two equals, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six pairs. So it equals six. Or I can say that three plus three equals six. Okay, now let's take a look at the pictures of the stars. We're gonna do the same thing. So let's count how many we have in this first row of stars. We have one, two, three, four. Now let's count the second row. One, two, three, four. Now let's count our columns. I have one, two, 
One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, now let's write the addition sentences. So I'm gonna start with my fours, my rows. So I have four plus four equals, and I know four plus four is a tuples fact, and that equals eight. Now I'm going to add my twos together. Two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. Okay, all right, very good. All right, now we're gonna turn to the next page in our book. And if you need to tear this page out to do this um, part, you might want to, it'd be a lot easier. And what you're going to need, um, we are going to do some measuring and we're going to start with our inches. I sent home a paper inch, inch um, ruler for you. So if you do not have those cut out, you will need to get those cut out before you start this part of the activity. Okay. All right. So I would like you, what we're going to do, it says measure in inches. We're going to draw the rows and columns, and we're going to write the number of small squares. So I'm going to put my inch ruler on my big rectangle here and I'm going to mark where my inches are. I'm going to mark along the side here. If you have a, if you actually have a wooden ruler at home, you can use that as well if you find that that might be easier to use. Okay. Then we're going to connect, I'm gonna connect my lines to form squares. Oops, I'm not quite getting them straight, but. All right, now I've taken this big rectangle and I have created some small squares inside. Now we're going to now we're going to write the number of small squares that we see. And I see that we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. So this rectangle has 8 squares. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing in number 6. I'm going to mark them and then draw my lines. So I'm going to mark them off in inches. Oops, got a little bump there. They don't have to be perfect, but they should be, they should look like they are about the same size. Okay, now I'm gonna count the number of squares that I have inside this rectangle. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now for number seven, eight, and nine, we are going to use our centimeter ruler and that paper had a lot of a lot of rulers on it so you just have to count cut out one of them okay I'm gonna do the same thing like I did at the top and we are going to mark where my centimeters are So make sure they don't have, like I said, they don't have to be perfect, but 
you want to make sure that it's close otherwise you're going to have a number that doesn't belong so now I'm going to count the number of so I see I have rows and I have columns so I can count my squares one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and so I have 12 squares <coughs> So I would like you to do number eight and number nine on your own. Okay, tomorrow we'll have another video and we're going to do some more work with our, um, with our rectangles and thinking about rows and columns.